Shalom. <clears throat> and uh, this is another lesson, you know. But first and foremost, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashun, Yahweh Shah. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who grew well. And citations to the hopeful elect that teaches truth sincerely across the four corners of the earth. And, um, you know, I'm just about to get into this lesson, man, because, you know, our people stupid, man. Like, the scriptures say that um, Israel is a sottish people. And you go in that word sottish, it means stupid. You know, our people don't know shit. They don't know the definition of no words. They don't know nothing. They just go off what somebody told them. And what somebody what they've been learning all their life is a lie. That's why two thirds of our people go die because they still want to live in that lie and join hands with Esau, the one who told them the lie. You know, but um, I'm just about to get in the scriptures. I ain't trying to make this long. And but so basically, we allowed to go out and so quote unquote cuss out people. You know, like. That, that that's a part of being a man of the Lord, you know. You ain't go talk when you um disciplining your child or having to talk with your child. You ain't talking all nice and shit. No, you getting on his or her ass. You feel me? So y'all talk about why y'all cussing all that shit. It's a sin to do that. But where is that in the Bible? You know, them words are in the Bible. You know, if you didn't notice, so. How how is it a sin to do that? You feel me? But I'm about to get into this definition of curse first. Get this out the way. This um this is the Zaverdin Compact Bible a dictionary. It's just definitions of words. Here go the word curse. The reverse of to bless. So a a curse is just a reversing of bless, you know, like you get out, you get blessings or you get curses. You know, Israel, we under a curse right now because we in slavery. Esau, he and his blessing right now, the blessing of the sword, the belly of the earth. This is blessing, and we in our curses. But it's about to switch around. We about to be in our blessings. We about to use our spiritual blessing like at a high level, and Esau go be under the curses that we under, but double. You know. On the on on the human level to wish harm or catastrophe, you know. So like I said, the word um curse just means a reverse of a bless, the curse them, wish uh ill will, you know. And I'm about to go down to um on this little meaning right here. This modern Western practice of cursing using profane language is never referred to in the scriptures, see blasphemy. So y'all saying y'all going off saying that it's a sin to cuss, you know, so called cuss, you know, because that's never referred in the scriptures, and that it said that Western passes like that rest like what what's we on the west side of the earth, you know, and everybody on the west side of the earth think them words are curse curse words, but they not, they harsh words, you know. They is harsh words. They rude words. But they not curse words, you know. And I was about to get into scripture real quick. And prove that it's nothing wrong with that. You know what? Even Paul said that. The prophet Paul. He said, I I'm, um, I speak rude in speech, but not in knowledge. So, he said, he, he, he you know, he, he, he talk rude. You know, he getting on people's ass, he being serious with it, but it don't matter how you talking, as, as long as you teaching the true doctrine, that's all what matters, because we only here for the let anyway, the one third. They, they, like, they already chosen, like, they not gonna give a fuck how this word is given to them. I could go outside and cuss out, um, the elect all day, and teaching them at the same time. You know, he, he not gonna, he or, you know, he not gonna give a fuck, he's the elect, you know. The word is for them. It's not about what you. It's not about how you say it. It's what you say. What is true, you know. It don't matter how you bring it out. And y'all people just get emotional because y'all stick with these great drink, great juice drinking ass Christian niggas, you know. 
and y'all want to be emotional, but y'all want to get in the truth, you know, y'all want to hear smooth things like the scriptures say, you know, y'all want to get the real deal, you know, but let me get in the scriptures, um, this, um, Genesis chapter 3, verse, I'm going to start at verse, um, 9, and the Lord God called unto Adam and said unto him, where art thou? So, let me get this straight, you know, the Most High, Yahweh, he not about to come off his throne, come down and talk to you, you know. He ain't about to come down and whoop you with a belt, you know, or however. He speak through his prophets, you know. His prophets, you know, they that's who he speak through. So me right now, this is the Most High talking to y'all, because I'm a prophet, you know. And all the other prophets that teach the true doctrine, you know. He's speaking. So this so it's this not us cussing at you, so called cussing at you, this the most hot talking to you, you know, it's him getting on your ass. Like I said, you ain't go um when you talking having a serious talk with your kid or disciplining your kid, you not about to talk all nice. Look no, no, hell no. You go get on their ass. You feel me? And he said, I heard thy voice in the garden and I was afraid. Because I was naked and I hid myself. So he wasn't really naked. You know. It it was saying like. He just never had that feeling before. Like you know. Because they didn't. They didn't sin you know. The um, garden of Eden. That was just paradise you know. The the, um, the Adam. Back then it, Israel was called the Adamites. You know we ain't sin. You know we, we was immortal. But when he sent, he he felt naked because he never felt that feeling before, you know. That's just a parable, and he was afraid, and he was hiding himself, you know. And you know, if you just keep reading down, you know, it, it really is proving my point. But my point is, you know, the prophets back then. See, we were back then, you know. We was getting on Adam ass, like telling him, like, damn, bro, you you fucking up, like you. You, you you getting off the chain, you know, you getting out of order, like you you fucking up. You know, we was getting on his ass. We was like he was high and shit. We, you know, cause he was ashamed, you know. So that was just an example of, you know, we allowed to do that. That's the prophet's job to get on our people's ass, you know, and prophesy, you know. And I'm a, I'm gonna go to verse I mean chapter I mean slot. First Chronicles chapter sixteen, verse twenty two, and no, yeah, verse twenty two. And this, this, this just saying like, some people might be like, damn, what if something happened to y'all? You know, what if um, what if like, y'all get into a fight, somebody pull out a gun, cause some you know, our people are so stupid. You know, some people be like, oh, them shooting words, them fighting words. You know, but. I'm about to get in this um, scripture, and it's about to t cut that off. Um, this First Chronicles chapter sixteen verse twenty-two, saying, "Touch not my anointed, and do and do my prophets no harm." So the Most High saying, "Don't touch the anointed ones. You know, don't don't do the prophets no harm." So when we out there, ain't shit gonna happen to us. You know, because the Most High protecting us. You how about you? How about Shah is protecting us from getting harmed? You know. Now it is gonna be a time. You know, they might try to. You know, when it, when um, shit start popping off, they might try to get us off the streets. You know, they you know martial law. You know, we ain't gonna be out there when that happen anyway. We gonna be in our houses somewhere, but. You know, but until then, right now, ain't shit gonna happen while we out there. You know, the most high is protecting us, you know. And I got another scripture to back that up, you know. He's our covering right now. Like, and you know, every time I can't somebody, like, come rebuke or something, you know. Like, we still be there. And they don't. They, they leave. They eventually leave. And we, we still standing there. Like, the first time, my very first time coming to camp, somebody, some little crackhead dude or son. No, the girl, she, it was a woman, and she had a kid, and she got offended because one of the brothers said, fuck, see, y'all getting emotional, you know, y'all want them smooth things, that church shit. No, 
you get you know you go get the true doctrine. You know y'all you know the the, the the scriptures also say this word is sharp. You know y'all begin ch chopped up, can cut up hearing this hearing this um truth. You know, but anyway, she got offended, so she walked away and she she was talking shit at the bus stop. We we still like we you know we talking to camera. Then she came, she started came back, started talking shit. Then this one dude, one weird dude, he had a grill or something. And he pee like, hey. And he pulled out a knife, a little knife. Like, get the fuck out of here. Like, we just looking at him. He over there. Then the girl, the woman, she called the police, tried to get us off the block. The police ended up um, arresting the dude who had the knife and that was with her. And like, everybody else who was around just standing there. They got cleared out, you know, the buses came, dude got arrested, and we still there, you know. Every time somebody called the police on us or something happened, an argument or something, though, you know, the police be helping us out for real. You know, Esau helped me, you know, the most I picked the spirit on Esau to get them niggas out, because it's, you know, it's spiritual, and nobody can't fuck with us out there, you know. At that moment, that's our block, that's our spot right there, you know. Or, some, or sometimes when we walk up, to set up the stuff, everybody just walk away, you know. It, it was time I heard, you know, before I came into camp, somebody um threw a bottle, you know. That nigga, I don't know what happened after that. Somebody um walked past, try like show their gun or something, and they talk shit to that nigga. Love, you know. Nobody can't fuck with us out there, man. We the most high people, you know. We the men of the Lord. He said to do no harm to my prophets. You can't, you can't fuck with us. But let me just get this scripture. This um Psalms chapter twenty eight, verse um seven. The Lord is my strength, so He our strength. He keeping us up there, like He the reason why we still adoring up there, you know. And my shield, He's our shield. So what's a shield? What a shield do? It protects you. He like if you got a shield, no, nothing can't hit you, you know. My heart trust in trusted in Him. So, so at the end of the day, we trust in the Lord when we, you know, that, that's why he protect us. Because we got our trust in him. And we that's our strength and our shield. And I am help. And if we if, if, if we believe he our strength, our shield, and we trust in him, he go help us, you know. And that's what he do every time a scoffer come. Therefore, my hearts greatly rejoice with my song. I will praise him. Exactly. So, in this song, it's these scriptures. You know, this the real songs, and that's in the book of Psalms. You know, this the this 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 an old song, but it's a new song this time, cause you know the truth been taken out, um, from us for a while. You know, but now it's back. It's like when a uh, artist they 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 make art they they make hella albums but never release them. Then after they die or something. They, the company start releasing them al albums. It's, it's old, but it's new to the public, you know? And that's how this truth is. It's coming back in the earth, you know, all around the earth. We everywhere, all around the earth. You know this truth? You know, we almost out of here. You know, it's just a few prophets left. But back to my point is, you know, it's not, you know, it's nothing wrong doing that. You know, Yahweh Shah was an austere man. You know, that means strictly in manner, man. You know, the man of the Lord, not no bitches, you know? They, 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 you know, they, they rough men, you know, they serious men, they about their business, that's what y'all worrying about, we talk about y'all life and y'all, y'all want to worry about somebody cussing, get the fuck out of here, man, grow up, man, and if you don't like my videos, if you, if you go, stop watching my shit, stop liking my shit, just block me, man, I'm getting tired of that shit, man, and this going for every, anybody, man. Stop. If you don't like my shit, just get, just unframe me, block me, whatever, man. You know. And, you know, you know, all we gotta do is keep enduring, man. Fuck these scoffers, man. We prophets, man. We doing our job, man. That's all we doing, man. But, yeah. That's all I had to say for this video, man. If you ain't understand that, you stupid. <laughs> for real. And with that, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashun, Yahweh Shah, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well, salutations to the hopeful elect that teach the truth sincerely across the four corners of the earth, and um, salutations to you sisters. And with that, 
I'm going to say Shalom.